Hey, what's going on, Samurais? Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna take a look at how to set up macros on your Blackmagic Video Switcher so you guys can control picture in picture. Now, if you guys have not checked out my other picture in picture video showing you how to actually set up a picture in picture, make sure you go over and do that right now. I will put a link to that video in the description below. All right, let's hop over to our Blackmagic software. All right, Samurais, once you have your video switcher software open, the first thing we need to do is open up our macros tab. So we're gonna go up to the toolbar and click on macros. Now, inside of here, you can see I have two macros already created. Let me give you a quick example of what we're about to set up. So if I click on the first macro and I click run, you can see it brings up a picture in picture to my first position that I chose. If I click on two, it's simple enough. I click run again, it goes to my next position. So I can create tons and tons and tons of different picture and picture locations inside of macros. Now, if I was just to use the positioning options inside of my upstream key one, I basically only have three different positions I can go to. I have uh, my run to A, my run to B, and my full. So I don't have that much versatility compared to using macros, which basically gives me unlimited positions I can have set up uh, for my project. Okay, now let me show you how to create a macro. Now, if you guys want to really learn about creating macros, I do have another video made, so I will put a link in the description below. You guys can watch that out. But for this one, I'm kind of just gonna go really quick through it. So the first thing you need to do is go to where it says create, then click on the little plus icon, we're gonna name it PP3, no PP pee -pee jokes. I know you wanna do it because I do, but no PP pee -pee jokes. We're not gonna go that far. We're not going to drop that low for views unless I need to and then I'll go there, but we're not going to. I'm gonna click record. Now this is recording every click I make. So I need to make sure I am deliberate on clicking on every part that I need to create my picture in picture. So, what I recommend is click off of everything and then click back on it while I'm recording. So I'm gonna to click to black, I'm gonna click back to color one. I'm gonna click all of this off here. So I'm gonna click on air back on. I'm gonna click key one back on. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna to go to Luma settings, color two. I'm gonna make sure I click on color two again. I'm just being very deliberate to re-click on everything. So invert key, I'm gonna make sure I choose invert key. I'm gonna go into each one of these boxes and I'm going to click enter. That way it locks in those settings as so. One other thing, I'm going to move the position, that way we have a third location, so I'm just gonna put a negative sign in front of the three, I'm going to click enter. Now once I've went around and I made sure I clicked on every box and I was very deliberate to make sure I clicked on every box, I clicked off of things, I clicked back on things, that way it made sure it got captured in my screen recording. I'm then going to click stop record, go back over to run, I'm gonna to go to position one real fast, that way you can see it move. Now if I click on our, the position three we just created, you will see it will hop down to the position three. So it's that easy to create a macro to control picture in picture. All right, if you guys have any questions about anything I talked about in this video or wanna see me cover other Blackmagic topics, make sure you ask them in the comment section below. I also have a lot of other Blackmagic training videos I've made. Make sure you go check those out as well. If you guys like today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new around here and you've not yet subscribed, make sure you please go click that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of our family. And until next time, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys and I'll see you next time, bye.